Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Saga and I've just finished a Masters in Aerospace Engineering but now I am transferring into software and tech. So if you're thinking about transferring from hard tech to software, or maybe you're trying to learn coding for the first time, well, this is the video for you. So in this video, I'm going to share a five step process that I think will make you a good programmer from not having written any lines of code at all. So the first thing you wanna do is pick a programming language that you want to learn. Choose your character. I recommend either using Python or Java as your first language because they're commonly used in industry and they also cover most of the fundamentals that you need to learn when you're learning how to code. So if you're wanting to learn how to make mobile applications, then start off with Java. However, if you're thinking of going into machine learning and AI, then I'd say start off with Python. But ultimately, it doesn't matter which language you start off with, as long as you get stuck in and not, you know, hang about deciding on what to pick. Okay, great, so now you've picked the language you want to learn. Now, what do you have to actually learn? The first few things you'll need to learn are the fundamentals of programming, and these are things like what is a variable, what is an if statement, what is a loop, and how to output something into the terminal or console. These are staple things that are common in more or less all programming languages from JavaScript to Java to Python, to C++ and C Sharp. I'd say the best place to get started in learning this sort of thing are just free YouTube tutorials because you know you don't have to spend any money towards them and plus you're able to have your pick of thousands of videos that teach you the basics of either Python or Java. One of the best resources that is free online is a website called w3schools.com and they have many different examples of things you can do either in Python Java and various other languages. And I definitely say go check it out because it's not a course as such, but it's more like a reference guide for when you are programming. So now if you've got the hang of coding basic little scripts and so on, I think it's time to move on to practicing puzzles on websites like Lead Code and Hackerank. These websites have puzzles that are quite tricky to solve for novice programmers and so will help you become better at solving a problem and codifying it. And the website's also great to help you become more efficient at writing your code because it tests how quickly your program is able to execute. Also, it's a great place to practice for coding interviews because many companies like Google and Amazon use these types of problems to test if their applicants are good enough for the company. So now you've become more comfortable with programming and are able to write efficient chunks of code it's time to learn how to make things people can use in the real world. So now is the time to invest in a paid course because they offer a really high quality of education if you want to learn how to code. Because yes, you can learn these things from random YouTube videos, but it's more time consuming because you have to find the content yourself. So you can find these paid courses on things like Udemy or Code Academy. Depending on what you really want to make, you can choose to do courses on making web apps, making native apps for either iOS or Android and also learning how to do data analysis and machine learning using Python. I actually started to learn how to code when I was in like the later years of high school and I feel as though the most I've learned in terms of knowing how to program has been in the past year when I've actually committed to spending money on courses to learn from proper qualified teachers more or less. The last bit I want to cover in this video is basically about working on your own projects. Working on your own projects has got to be the number one thing that solidifies your coding skills and knowledge that you've learned from courses. Even though I put this point last in the video, it is crucial that you work on your own projects throughout your journey of learning to code right from the beginning. The best way to come up with personal projects to work on is just to think, you know, what problems do I have right now that I could write code for that can solve my issues? So maybe you do something repetitively on a computer and you could create some sort of script that automates it, or maybe, you know, there's complex calculations you have to do, maybe for like homework, then you could create a script to automate that for you. So ultimately the best way to come up with your own projects is just to see what problems you have now and what you can solve with code. One of the projects I actually created this year was a gas generator calculator. So you enter various temperature ratios and pressure ratios that for example, you're given in an exam question 
and the computer would output all the various other temperature and pressure ratios that it could calculate. In fact, I actually used this in one of my open book exams because I was like, well, it takes me half an hour to do this question manually, so I might as well just write a script to do it in like a few milliseconds. I mean, they didn't say I couldn't write a script, so yeah. It's not cheating, I guess. If you're going to be learning new technologies or a new language, it's likely that you're going to follow this four or five step process again and again every time you want to learn something new. Although, you know, it will get quicker and quicker the more programming that you've done and the more experience you have. And as ironic as it is, learning how to program is an infinite loop. And once you do know how to code, you will understand why that was funny. If you still are not sure whether you should learn programming even after watching this video, well, I have another video that talks about why I think programming or knowing how to program is going to be as important as knowing how to speak English.